down to the pure spirit of God. Come on, I want to show you something. Hi, I'm Alan. This is my hive stand. I'm going to show you some of the improvements that I made and how I built it. Here's my bee yard. Here's a raised beehive that's going in. Of the whole dug and there's a rosemary and lavender in between. And here's one that's already concreted in. That's the raised platform for the beehive. There's another lavender, an orange tree, and this is the way the beehives were originally. Just like this one that's going on, and it's doing pretty good. But it's on these wood platforms sitting on the ground. And that's not the ideal thing. There's another hive going in here. So it's another platform and some more plants, rosemary, tomatoes and broccoli and orange tree where I'm starting my raised bed and the orange tree that's doing really good full of oranges hundreds of oranges um, if I walk under the orange tree here's my other raised bed and another orange tree so try to get a better angle at it here we go Looking over the fence, this is what the bee's terrain look like. I'm in Arizona, and later on in the summer, in June and July, it'll get over 120 degrees. So some of the problems I've had with the hive is the honey and the wax just melting and dripping right out of the hive. And another thing is setting on these wood platforms the ants get up in here and I've had problems with ants and with um, I've seen scorpions and lizards inside the hive so today I'm gonna be installing a platform like this one and I'm gonna take that beehive and cement in a raised platform and make a couple of modifications to the hive here's one already set up now I'm gonna run through the components of the hive. Here's my hive stand. It's been cemented in and secured down. Down here we have cayenne pepper and Vaseline rubbed on to the post to prevent the ants from crawling up. The first thing we put on top of the hive stand is my screen bottom board. I customized the screen bottom board with an extra landing pad in the front. And it has a removable corrugated sheet. Right now I'm going to keep the sheet in, set it on top, directly on top of the hive stand. I have my entrance reducer that is just a piece of wood that I cut. It'll set here and reduce the entrance to a small gap. Or I could invert them the other way and it creates a larger gap. To start out I'm going to keep it really small. The next thing on top of that is a slatted rack. On top of the slatted rack goes the brood box. This is the main body of the beehive. This is where the bees will live. This is a 10 frame box with 8 frames and two dummy boards or follower boards on each side. And I'm using plastic perico frames and a deep hive body brood box. Directly on top of that goes my screen top and top feeder. This is where I'll put my feeder jars in these holes. On top of that, to cover the food jars, I just put an empty box, a screen top, 
and then the telescoping cover. Here's how I construct the hive. Okay, there we go. I primered my hive stand. Now it's time to paint it. The next thing I'm going to do is cover this with some landscape fabric. I've doubled the landscape fabric and cut a hole in there and this will set right down on there and I'll staple it around the edges. Before I staple it, I have some silicone waterproof sealer to help create a barrier for the ants and for any insects that want to come in here. So I'll put a nice bead of that right around the edges. Okay, now we've got the landscape fabric on here and it's securely glued down all around the edges with silicone creating a good barrier against the insects coming in there like ants. This is where I want to put the hive. So the next thing I have to do is dig a hole. The hole is three feet high. I'm going to dig down 18 inches and bury it 18 inches. Okay, showing you a little more. I filled the hole in a little way, a little bit with some concrete. And then I can move it around and it's a little more solid now. And uh, I've orientated the compass right along there. So it's just a little past east, a little southeast, facing towards the front of the hive. And the bubble on the uh, level. It's a half a bubble off a level leaning towards the front. So check all four pieces this way and then going from side to side I want that level. So that's perfectly level. I'm happy with the with it being level, so I'll go ahead and fill it in with concrete and check it one more time. Thank you very much for joining me in Pure Spirit Bee Yard. Be sure to watch for future updates on videos and the progress of my hives. 
Till next time, be cool.